Here is one version of an axle guide and what I'd like to do now is make a dimension drawing of this so that we can potentially make it. A uh, necessary thing is to make a dimension drawing before we make anything on the 3D printer and also this will give us some practice on making dimension drawings. So we're going to go to the big eye, new, we're going to use our template here and for part name I'm just going to say square axle guide automata for the uh, assignment period 4 6 uh, it's 04 slash 17 slash 2018 okay so for the front view we want to choose the most representative view possible and uh, we could Let's do it this way. Let's do that one and the right. And of course it's cylindrically uh, symmetric so we can... I'm gonna change the color of this. I just uh, don't like the default when we're using... Um, when we're making these drawings and doing various things. So let's call this one something like um, uh, some sort of green and our uh, this should update as well okay so there it is now this is kind of a complicated perhaps uh, graph L let's go ahead and let's use uh, let's dimension the outer uh, size and the inner size even though we don't usually like to dimension to a uh, hidden line we're going to go ahead and do that and so uh, we've got this spool-like object here, and we're and we generally want to dimension a circle in the view in which it appears as a circle, rather than say the distance from top to bottom. So let's go ahead and take care of uh, the uh, interior here we do want to have a center and um, let's try let's do that we really uh, basically just shows that it's concentric the two circles and the uh, the square is are, are share a common center so what we're missing at this point is just um, that would be uh, the depth, I believe, and that would we would just be able to go from. Uh, I personally like to prefer the chain method. So from here to here to here, right click, continue. We'll pull this up like so. And I'm going to say create, and then this guy, I think I want him, will he fit inside there? He won't fit inside there, that's okay. And then for the full depth, we'll want to have that on its own, like out here. Maybe down here would be better. So this would be our dimension drawing, and we um, can put this here. And here, I don't really know if we need to have that. Uh, kind of seems to get in the way, so I'm going to leave it there. But we still need to know where that circle, where that square is placed relative to... Um, how about over here? I'll use this guy. No, that's not going to help, I don't think. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, I think. And um, so you can see we have 150 thousandths, and the actual cardboard is 0.10 or 100 thousandths, or uh, 0.1. And so we'll just leave it at that. So this would be a dimension drawing of this part up here. Thanks for watching.